Hello, kindergarten. Welcome back to my home and back to my library. Today's story is a very old story from thousands of years ago, but the illustrator has taken the idea of the story and illustrated in a very clever way. While I'm reading the story, I'm wondering if you can make a prediction about what will happen at the very end. Sit back and get comfortable. Today's story is called Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. Here's our title page. Seven Blind Mice by Ed Young. One day, seven blind mice were surprised to find a strange something by their pond. What is it, they cried, and they all ran home. On Monday, Red Mouse went first to find out. It's a pillar, he said. No one believed him. On Tuesday, Green Mouse set out. He was the second to go. It's a snake, he said. No, said Yellow Mouse on Wednesday. the third in turn. The fourth was Purple Mouse. He went on Thursday. It's a great cliff, he said. Orange Mouse went on Friday, the fifth to go. It's a fan, he cried. I felt it move. The sixth to go was Blue Mouse. He went on Saturday and said, it's nothing but a rope. But the others didn't agree and they began to argue, a snake, a rope, a fan, a cliff, until on Sunday, White Mouse, the seventh mouse, went to the pond. When she came upon the something, she ran up one side and she ran down the other. She ran across the top and from end to end. Ah, said White Mouse, now I see the something is as sturdy as a pillar, as supple as a snake, as wide as a cliff, as sharp as a spear, breezy as a fan, stringy as a rope, but altogether the something is...
hand. And when the other mice ran up one side and down the other, across the something from end to end, they agreed. Now they saw it too. The mouse moral, knowing in part, may make a fine tale, but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. The end. Kindergarten, thank you for coming to Storytime with me today. I enjoyed reading to you. I hope you enjoyed listening to me. Until we read again, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.